It's Dayton Bronco, Friday Night Lights, 2011. The Dayton Broncos are playing in the state playoffs in the area round. Magnolia West Mustangs versus the Dayton Broncos. Played at Galena Park Stadium. Dayton Bronco Friday Night Lights is produced by Tubes Graphics. Tubes Graphics and the Dayton Broncos, a believing combination. The Dayton Broncos receive the opening kickoff and move down the field. Andreas takes a snap. <clears throat> he scrambles around, throws the ball to his left. Armando Reyes is wide open and brings the ball inside the five yard line. On the next play, Andreas takes a snap, tosses it to a wide open Jamal Feller. The Broncos score first and go up six to nothing. Bronco comes in for the extra point and sells the ball through the uprights. The Broncos now lead 7-0. The Mustangs throw an incomplete pass on first down. On second down, they run the ball for the first time, and Lane Bethea stops the running back. On third down, the Mustangs quarterback gets the ball, goes back for a pass. He's rushed. He throws the ball. It's tipped. And intercepted by Logan Sullivan. The Broncos take over. Five plays after the interception. The Broncos are moving the ball down the field. Andreas throws the ball in the middle and it's caught by Armando Reyes. On the next play. The Broncos snap the ball, a trap play up the right side, results in a touchdown by Ryan McBride. The Broncos go up 13 to nothing. Caraco once again puts the ball through the uprights. The Broncos now lead 14 to nothing. The Mustangs get a series of first downs. They hand off to Desmond Richards, who's crushed again by Lane Bethea. The Bronco defense begins to stiffen. The quarterback goes back for a pass. No one's open. He runs up the middle, but is tackled two yards short of the first down, setting up fourth and two. The Mustangs decide to go for it on fourth and two. The quarterback gets the ball, hands off to Desmond Richard, who breaks through the right side and runs down the sideline. Two plays later, the Mustangs move closer to the goal line. The quarterback throws the ball, it's tipped and intercepted by Logan Sullivan. Broncos start inside their five-yard line. They need to move the ball out. Andreas goes back to pass and finds Jamal Fowler, who runs down the field for a good game. Next down, Andreas takes the ball, throws a screen to Van Kampen, who breaks through and runs down the sideline. Van Kampen continues to run and is pushed out of bounds at the 20-yard line. The Broncos are unable to get another first down. Caraco comes in and splits the uprights with a 31-yard field goal. The Broncos now lead 17-0. The Mustangs drive the ball down the field. They get inside the 20. It's a direct snap to Desmond Richards on a 35 play, but he's tackled for a loss by Javon St. Andre, setting up a Mustang field goal. The ball is snapped, the kick is up, and it's good! The Mustangs get on the board. The score is now the Dayton Broncos 17, the Mustangs three. 42 left in a half on your score. The Broncos get the kickoff, and two plays later, Andreas goes back for a pass. He pump fakes and finds Armando Reyes wide open. Armando runs down the field for a touchdown. The Broncos score again and go up 23 to 3.
with the wind behind him. Coraco sails the ball over the field house and into the next county. The score is now Broncos 24, Mustangs 3. The Mustangs move the ball into their own side of the field. They have a third and eight. The quarterback goes back, throws the ball up the middle, a great defensive play, stops the play dead, but pass interference is ruled. The Mustangs use the pass interference and go down the field. Desmond Richard breaks through. Two plays later, the quarterback hands off to Desmond Richard, who runs outside, breaks two tackles, and crosses the goal line. The Mustangs score a touchdown and narrow the score to 9 to 24. The extra point is blocked by the Broncos. The score remains Broncos 24, Mustangs 9. The Broncos, get, the Broncos get the ball after the kickoff and move it down the field when Ryan McBride breaks up the middle. Number two, can you tackle a Dayton Bronco? Whoop! Whoop! I don't think so. One more time, let's go back and look again. Whoop! Whoop! Brian McBride makes the Mustangs miss and goes down the field. Broncos then take the ball and methodically move down the field on the Mustang defense. Second and goal, Andreas rolls out of best. Jamal Fowler wide open for another Bronco touchdown. The Broncos post over 30 points in one half and go up 30 to 9. Coraco then comes out for the extra point. He nails the field goal over the field house. The ball boys need a school bus to go get the football. The Broncos now lead 31 to nine. As the second quarter ends, the Mustangs try to move the ball, but the quarterback can't find any open receivers and is sacked on first down. On second down, the Mustang quarterback tries to go back again. There's no one open and he's sacked for the second time in a row. On third down, the ball is fumbled. The quarterback falls to the ground as the Bronco defense swarms. The Mustangs get the ball to open the second half, but they do the Bronco dance steps. One. Two. Three. And finally, the Mustangs kick. One, two, three, kick. After the Mustangs get an interception, the quarterback goes back for a pass on third and long. Throws it down the field and it's intercepted by Jamad St. Andre of the Broncos. The Mustangs make the Broncos punt the ball. The quarterback gives the ball to Desmond Richard, who's tackled right after he receives the handoff. On second down, the quarterback goes back for a pass, but he's crushed by the Dayton Bronco defense. The Mustangs face third and long. The quarterback goes back for a pass, throws the ball down the field, but the ball falls incomplete. After a horrible punt, the Broncos have the ball inside the 20. Herrera goes back, throws a skiing pass to Rob McBride, who rambles down and into the end zone. The Broncos score another touchdown. Caraco comes in for the extra point. The staff is back. It's down. The kick is good. The Broncos now lead 38 to 9. The Mustangs get the ball. They get a couple of first downs. They move in the ball, but the snap's over the quarterback's head. And Lane Bethay crushes the quarterback for a big sack loss. The Broncos force a Mustang punt. They get the ball back and drive down to the 27-yard line win. 
Caraco nails a 44-yard field goal. The Broncos now lead 41-9 with 43 seconds left in the third quarter. The Mustangs get the ball back and on second down, Desmond Richards finally gets the running room. He gets up the field, breaks three tackles, and is off to the races. The Mustangs score a touchdown. The extra point is good. The score is now Broncos 41, Mustang 16. The Broncos recover an onside kick. They face fourth and two. Marquane Chambers, the backup quarterback, comes in and with a block, Bajimal Fowler races down the field for a touchdown. But a holding call calls the play back and the Broncos put the ball. The Mustangs in get the ball. A razzle dazzle flea flicker. The ball is hurled down the field. Good coverage, but it's caught. The Mustangs move the ball inside the 20. The Bronco defense defends and forces a fourth and one. The Mustangs take the ball with the power side of the left, but the run is stuck cold. The Broncos take over on downs and stop the Mustangs from scoring. The Broncos take the ball, move down the field, but McBride's pass is intercepted. The Mustangs run down and have the ball inside the five. On the next play, the Mustangs do a quarterback sneak and score a touchdown. The score is now 23 to 41 after the point after. Another Mustangs onside kick fails. The Mustangs force the Broncos to punt. Desmond Richard gets the ball, hurls it down the field, but it's intercepted by the Dayton Broncos. The Broncos get the ball back and go into victory formation. The Broncos win the area round of the playoffs with an impressive 41 to 23 victory over the West Montgomery Mustangs. Other 19-4A and 24A results. Needler beat Stratford 21 to 14 in double overtime. Fighter beat Montgomery 42 to 35. And Ozan stuns Southeast Texas, beating state ranked Burnham 14 to 10. Always, always believe. Always believe, baby. It's all about this shoot. Always believe. Next week's regional round matchups. Dayton will take on Manville. Needling battles Perlin Dawson. Ozan takes on Lamarck. And the Vider Pirates will battle Angleton. Always believe. Always believe. Always believe. That's for you, TK. Dayton Bronco Friday Night Lights has been produced by Toops Graphics. Hoops Graphics and the Dayton Broncos, a believing combination.